Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. I wanted to take a moment here on YouTube to share with you this exercise. Let's say you want to draw a portrait and you want to draw a portrait from a photo. Uh, this is a really good exercise to help you to get the proper proportions of the person that you are drawing. It incorporates drawing the actual frame size of the portrait photo that you're working from. So if the portrait photo is 8 by 10, you would physically draw the 8 by 10 frame on your piece of paper, and then you would divide that into four individual boxes, and you would draw what is in each individual box. It's a really cool exercise. Some people find it a little too constricting, but I think it, it's a great way to learn, and let me show you how it's done. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to state some things that are the obvious and that are really hard and that you're trying to do already. So just bear with me as as I explain some of this stuff because it's I tend to be extremely repetitive because there there aren't like 40 different techniques that I think about there are really like 10 that I I use over and over and over again and I just continually try to master those techniques. So uh, l l let me give you a, a different thing to take into consideration okay maybe what you want to do next time and and this is just an exercise and don't think of it as anything other than that let me make sure that I'm getting the entire picture in there okay so what I recommend that you try to do and it's not going to be that much fun but it's going to be important is I want you to draw the actual size of the photo edge. So let's just say for argument's sake that this photo is um, eight and a half by 11. I want you to draw an eight and a half by 11 um, box on your uh, or rectangle on, on your piece of paper. So you th this is how you're gonna uh, learn how to draw correct proportions by seeing abstract shapes. Now what I want you to do is I want you to cut the, the box in half. So I want you to do a vertical line down. Let's say it's, it's four and a quarter. And then I want you to go all the way across. And let's just say it's five and a half. Okay. Now what you draw is this first. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. You draw that negative space first. You don't draw her hair. You draw the negative space. And then you come over here and you draw this negative space okay and then we start so box number one box number two box number three we're gonna start to draw this negative space and then this box number four is very small so the negative space is just that so that that would be step number one draw the frame of the actual photo and then uh, do a vertical center line do a horizontal center line and then draw what is in that box one two three and four and that's going to give you if you do it correctly the proper proportions so now you start to compare thicknesses so like up top over here that's really skinny where's the widest Thickness. I, I think the widest thickness is from here to here. That's really wide compared to everything else. Now this is the same thickness as the top, almost, just about. So now that's going to train your eye to start to see what is thick and what is thin. Now the next step is just to simply divide the portrait into three parts. The hair, the skin, the shirt. So the, what I would do next is I'd start to just draw the hair with angles and this is how I teach it in the classroom so just focus in on this top number one box so we draw her hair now let's focus on number two box and we just draw the shape of her hair now I'm just doing these angles and I'm doing it very quickly of course it would take you a little bit slower because you have to start to say um, to yourself, okay, what is right below that part of her hair? Uh, you know, what is right across from that part of her hair? So you do some of those types of across lines and plumb lines. And then we go to box number three and we draw that shape of her hair. And then we go to box number four 
and we draw this shape of her hair. Okay, so we have the negative and we have the hair. So as soon as we put in the hair, now we have the skin. So we could now draw the shirt. Okay, so this is just, I, I might even try to do this with one loopy gesture line. But you can do it one box at a time, one rectangle at a time. So now we have the shape of her hair, the shape of her skin, and the shape of her shirt. And we have the negative shapes on the outer edge of the portrait. So again, is this very restrictive? Yes. Uh, is this uh, confining? Yes. I remember I, I had a couple students that would never do this assignment. They're like, um, I can't draw things in a box. And I'm like, that's fine. You, you don't have to do it. This is just um, a great exercise. You have to think of it as nothing more and nothing less than an exercise. Okay. And now if you want to push it, the exercise, now this part of it is a little bit more difficult, but you can do it. You could now draw the line that separates the light from the shadow. So now you have the light part of her skin and the shadow part of her skin. So you, you just keep breaking it down. Then you come back, oh, there's a shadow shape. Okay, oh, this eye into the lower lid is a shadow shape. Uh, the underplane of her nose and the cast shadow makes up a shadow shape. Underneath her lower lip makes up a shadow shape. And that is a very awesome way to get the likeness. I think your drawing looks really good. Um, my big thing is that this hair just needs to be taller and less wide. So you've made this shape way too wide for the height that you've drawn. I think the face looks really good. I, I think you did a, a pretty good job. Um, her eyes are like tilted more like that because she's slightly looking down and you have them kind of not tilted at all they're a little bit more normal so you're, you're having her look in a different direction but it's it's the shape of the face is actually very nice you did a very good job with the shape of her face it's primarily the hair shape uh, that needs to be uh, adjusted and I think if you do that uh, that's going to help you tremendously so it, it's just, um, just look in here. It's some, it's distances. So it's say, what's the distance from the edge of her eyelashes to say where the front of her ear starts? That on your drawing is way too long for her face. So you have to, uh, that's an interior adjustment. And I would say that you go for the big shapes first, the big negative space, the big shape of the hair, the big shape of the skin. Um, and, and that's going to be a good way for you to practice this. And again, your eye-hand coordination is practiced by you drawing funky shapes like this in your sketchbook or on a scrap piece of paper. So just practice drawing shapes okay it's hard it's not easy it's easier for me with a pencil than it is digitally but that's what you want to do i hope i helped you i think your face is uh you know, the way that you drew this this model's face is much much better than you're giving yourself credit for it's you always start with the shape of the hair versus the face in my opinion another teacher might say no you don't do it that way that's all wrong i'm just giving you my opinion shape of hair then the face is contained within the shape of the hair. And uh, that's big, big shapes. And then if you're lucky enough to be drawn from a good photo, then it's shape of light, shape of shadow. And you're creating the optical illusion of the portrait with these shapes. And then you model after you draw the shapes. Okay? Good job.
All right. Thank you so much for watching that critique. I really do appreciate it. If you're looking to get some feedback on your artwork, uh, check out Drawing Tutorials Online. I've got some links right below in the description. Uh, people join and I, I help them with their artwork and uh, their critiques are a really big part of improving your artwork. Sure, we've got tons of courses, tons of lessons, uh, tons of photo reference for you to draw from, but it's really the critiques, the one-on-one -on -one critiques uh, that help you to improve fast. All right, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.